We all know Texas roads need some help when it comes to congestion these days. Last year, voters approved spending $1.7 billion each year from the oil and gas tax to cover the need. And this year, you can vote to add another $3 billion more a year with Proposition 7. But KXAN's Phil Prazen shows us how lawmakers learned today in a committee all that is still not enough. It's been a busy summer for Groovy Automotive on Red River. Hours of sitting in traffic under the hot Texas sun wreaks havoc on cars. Air heat rises, sticks up underneath the hood, cars sitting stagnant. you got 150 degree pavement below you. Everything in the engine bay is going to be stressed, particularly uh, plastic and rubber parts. After two propositions to lessen congestion on our roads, oh, Texas A&M researchers delivered some ominous news. More people moving in and an increase in construction costs means we we need twice as much money, another $4.3 billion. The need is there, so we've got to find other revenue sources. Representative Ron Simmons admits once again we need a solution. He chairs the committee charged with finding one. I am not a proponent of raising taxes, okay? Uh, but I am a proponent of making sure that we have the appropriate infrastructure. Leaders already have a multi-billion dollar plan to expand I-35, but money to make it reality hasn't been found. Is I-35 tolerable? If it's tolerable, we don't need to do anything. If it's not tolerable, then we have to have the money to pay for it. Now we're faced with moving funds from other programs or raising taxes and fees. Meanwhile, Groovy and auto shops like it will be plenty busy. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Right now, 15 cents of each gallon of gas in our state go toward funding the roads. It's an amount that hasn't been raised since 1991. According to Texas A&M, raising that just 10 more cents would bring in $5 billion over the next three years. The evening commute a little uh, longer. To